opposite color bishops in the middle game. What matters again and again in the middle game, in the end game, is the pieces activity. So regardless of what you got on the paper, it matters what you're doing with the pieces you've got on the board. Okay. Now, we're talking about the pieces, the bishops, opposite color bishops. And normally the person that calls the shots, that takes initiative and attacks more, will be favored. So we've got a very nice bishop eager to play on d4. By the way, this is from a game in which white is Yanni Pomnici in 2019 and black is Magnus Carlsen. So how did Magnus actually increase the pieces activity and the opportunities for attack? Well, first, he sacrificed the pawn. He gave a pawn. So we mustn't be afraid to sacking those pawns that are actually blocking your own pieces attack. So if there is a pawn blocking you from attacking, remove that pawn. Give them the pawn. And upon taking it, a uh, nice pawn, uh, now you're going to play uh, queen to h4, checking the white king. Okay, which has to move, by the way. And when they move, now you've got the other bishop. And look at this beautiful uh, attacking chances here with the bishop and the uh, queen. Of course, there is a rook there, so you're not going to be playing nothing on f2 because you've got the h2. And now they can't block because if they block, queen is going to take, supported by the bishop. And moving the king, f1, f3, equally bad because queen to f2, checkmate now. And the game is over in this particular scenario let's look at another one guys again bishop bishops uh, uh, activate your beautiful bishops now this bishop here on d3 probably noticed it doesn't do nothing because it's blocked by a pawn and nothing happens here so they need to readjust the black place first so now we're going to do a beautiful backward move maybe not very easy always to spot those uh, bishop moves because you want to readjust that bishop where is the most ideal square from which you can attack devastatingly probably you found it guys is the b6 and that's already pinning the rook to the king so you've threatened to win material and now they've got to run away from your pin still that doesn't stop you from attacking the rook rook hits them and now if they do something like f3 or just moving the rook away uh, you will be unstoppable from placing the bishop on e3 excellent uh, um, untouchable structure pawn plus bishop attacking the queen if they ever want to get rid of your bishop they'll have to sack an exchange which means you're going to win okay so better better position better bishop very active and look at the difference between the black bishop here and the white bishop on d3 the white bishop on d3 doesn't do a damn thing here so it's just blocked completely behind the pawns whereas the black bishop really really threatens all the dark squares and super active super active bishop next tutorial here hmm black wants to play something like c5 and they dream of castling of course because they want to attack your bishop with tempo forcing you to play defensively so that they can castle the king but now you luckily you've understood their plan and you're going to stop it you're going to stop it by playing very elegantly bishop here on d6 still blocking black king from castling taking the b8 from any attempt that they dream of having a battery on the b file and you having more attacking chances perhaps you may want to look at rook e3 rook g7 and try and attack whatever because you have more attacking chances and initiative than black here who has the king right in the center can't be castled will never be castled now and it's looking very, very, very good for white. The next exercise, guys. Hmm, we've already got a battery here, bishop and the queen, but we can't get on g6 because there is a pawn. So for the time being, we cannot. But if we readjust the bishop on c2, for instance, if we play something like bishop b3, we've already creating a threat here. Okay, f7 is already under serious threat and... There is always the queen to g6, and I think you're winning. And uh, this is a very strong attack here. Uh, very difficult for black to be uh, resisting to this onslaught here with the white pieces. Whereas the bishop on f8, let's just make the comparison again. The bishop on f8 really doesn't do nothing here. I mean, that guy is completely uh, inoperable. Whereas the bishop on b3 does a lot of attacking power here for the next exercise guys here yeah. hmm uh white should have explored another move because that just completely inconclude and i don't know what i want to do because they've got an incredibly bad bishop here they should have probably 
thinking about just doing something with that bishop because you definitely want to push the pawn up here because that reveals the black bishop diagonal leading to the king and you never know maybe some queen to e5 will be incredibly incredibly uh dangerous for your opponent and very difficult to be stopped and you should be doing better than white with your attacking chances battery queen plus bishop deadly next scenario guys here hmm what do we want to do i'm not very happy with the current position for the white bishop on e2 we want to relocate that guy on a more active uh position ideal outpost where they can't be challenged by a pawn and now probably if you're looking at it you notice there is a very nice bishop c4 idea and even if black keeps hitting your bishop you they're gonna readjust your bishop nicely over to d5 excellent outpost for that bishop here hitting f7 attacking the a8 and that just looks incredibly incredibly nice it won't be moved away because there is no bishop that your opponent can use to exchange your bishop so that's the beauty of the opposite color bishops in the middle game here they don't have a bishop to attack and to exchange your bishop by the way if your opponent has an active bishop and you've got a bishop of the same color uh, try to trade it off but in this position black doesn't have it and actually the bishop on g7 does do nothing they can't go h6 because they're going to be taken if they go f8 they don't do nothing and even if they currently are where they are again they don't do nothing your bishop is more active than the other guy's bishop let's look at the current position now another exercise my chess friends what do we want to do well where do you want to have actually the bishop on a3 now this is a nice bishop compared with the bishop on c6 which just the big pawn it just doesn't do nothing doesn't attack nothing so where exactly do you think it's more aggressive than it currently is and probably you found it you want to have the bishop on a3 you want to have it on e5 for the reason of uh, working together with the bishop sorry with the queen with the bishop and you never know you'll have to probably uh, uh, force your opponent to keep the queen all the time to defend against the batteries that might be created with the queen and the bishop but first thing first we get the bishop nicely on d6 i don't know what they're going to play because it's unstoppable for you to placing bishop e5 again tremendous attacking power on the dark squares again i hope you guys remember what we said if a pawn blocks your pieces from attacking remove sacrifice the pawn okay very important to understand this concept pushing this guy forward let him take okay and very likely they're going to be taking with the bishop now with the pawn because they don't want to have double pawns it will be making it incredibly difficult to defend and it is already difficult to defend because when they take your guy now you guys can pause the video find the battery now queen plus bishop delivering checkmate straight away and probably you found it guys it's queen here together with the bishop very difficult to defend against this even if you say oh i'm gonna play g3 i'm gonna stop your queen you probably can for the time being but comes at a huge cost and that is loss of the bishop on f3 which will be taking straight away so obviously here black should be uh, white should be resigning here and black is winning again guys pieces activity matters absolutely in the middle game and game in the game of chess what are you doing with those pieces are they attacking have they been developed uh, are your bishops active okay and if you can keep the other players uh, pieces blocked bishops blocked by their own pieces ideally and keep your diagonals open for your bishops and try to create more attacking opportunities for yourself your opponent hopefully they will be just defending defending against until something just happens and you just deliver the deadly blow so thanks very much for watching this guys hope it's useful subscribe to this channel and i'll see you sooner than you think